Hey there Wutsu family, it's Ryan here, and remember four months ago when I said this? Hey there Wutsu family, it's Ryan here, and I have to say, I am not the most handy of people. Well it turns out, I'm actually a lot handier than I thought. You see, the thing is, as a homeowner, you have to be responsible for the house, because if you don't take care of the house, in the long run it's not going to take care of you. And so it's really important as things start to wear down, as things start to break, that you take care of it as soon as you can because if you leave it, that tends to be where the really expensive stuff starts to happen. And so today I had to climb up on the roof and replace a shingle, which I know doesn't really sound like a big deal, but it was a pretty big deal to me. You see, about a month ago, I was walking the dog and I looked up on the roof and I noticed a weird kind of discoloration on the roof and what I assumed to be a problem with one of the shingles. Now up until about last weekend, I didn't have a ladder, so there was no way for me to investigate it, but I had a sneaky suspicion that something was gonna have to be fixed on the roof. And so last weekend, when I wanted to put my Christmas lights up, I needed a ladder to be able to get up there. So while I was up there, you know, clipping all of the lights to the eaves troughs, I kind of took a look and I realized, yep, there's a shingle up there that's definitely come loose, broken off or something during a windstorm. Now when it comes to roofs, you don't want to mess with the roof. If there's any problems with it, you got to handle it right away because any kind of water damage and stuff is just, it's, it's a nightmare. I've, I've dealt with it at my parents' place. I've dealt with it at a, a previous job. And it's just one of those things that as soon as you have roof leaks or whatever, you got to take care of it as soon as you can. Now here's the other thing too. It's currently December and I knew that getting up there to fix something in the middle of winter is going to be really tough. See, one of the great things about shingles is that it uses the heat from the sun to lock themselves in with the tar. And well, in December, there's not really a lot of hot days. But as of filming, it's Sunday, December 2nd, and we had double digit warmth today. So it was the best time for me to climb up on the roof and fix things. This week, I started off the process by poking around on YouTube, you know, this old house and a few repair channels to find out how exactly you replace a shingle. I've helped my parents shingle the roof before, but I've never done a single shingle in the middle of a field. So it turns out it's actually not as difficult as you think. And then so yesterday I went out and I bought my supplies. I bought some shingles that look roughly alike so that it's not going to be obvious that I replaced one. I picked up a hammer. I picked up a pry bar. I picked up some roof tar. And then I got myself a box of roofing nails and then I waited for Sunday. And so today I climbed up on the roof and I assessed the damage and I realized that it turns out when I looked at what happened, it looks like the roof has been damaged for some time. It looks like in a previous windstorm, uh, some one or more of the tabs of shingles have been lifted up because you could see that they had glued underneath of it and drove a couple extra nails in. So it turns out this isn't a new problem. This has actually been something for a while. So I decided to try to pry it out get rid of the old shingle, put in a new shingle, and then put down some spots of tar so that I could reinforce the existing roof structure. All in all, it took me about an hour to do this. It was not as difficult as you might think, uh, but I still didn't really know what I was doing, so it always felt like I was doing something wrong. But after an hour, you know what? I felt super proud. I did it myself and well, I saved a whole bunch of money from having to pay the roofing companies to come in and do it. I think that's one of the things about being a homeowner is it kind of forces you to have to confront these things. And it really does come down to a trade-off. You know, sometimes there are things that you're just gonna have to pay quality for in order to get a good job done. But there are some things that you need to learn how to do yourself. And changing a shingle on your roof, I think falls into that latter category. Well, that's one major project in the bag. Next thing, I think towards the end of December, we're going to be putting up some framing in the basement and drywalling everything. So it should be fun. Who knows, maybe I'll get a little bit of footage while I'm at it. Anyways, what about you? Why don't you tell me down below if you've ever had to do your own projects? What kind of DIY fixes did you do? Let me know and I'm looking forward to reading them. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and watching me fumble around on the roof a little bit. I have to say it was a super empowering experience and you know what? If you ever get the chance, you should try it out too. Anyways, don't forget. Stay awesome.